coming down the bike, walking me all back. Another half ass projection here at Chime and Reed. And we're going to go inside and see Ron Gorchow. Well, you can see that this is uh, quite a mob scene, and it's probably about uh, 10 minutes before closing time here. Yeah. actually called Artemisia and uh, I know for those of you that are familiar with Ron's work probably not uh, put off by his uh, very unique uh, shape of his supports but uh, for those of you that haven't seen his work before he works on these uh, Intricately designed saddle shapes, maybe you call them a shield form. In the press release, they talk about Ron developing this, this saddle shape, this form to paint on, as a reaction against uh, Clement Greenberg's ideas that the picture plane had to be flat and it had to be a rectangle. So, uh, in certain ways, Ron was a total antithesis of all those ideas. I think he calls them stacks. It's called Tau City. This is 74 by 36 by 9 inches. Now, I was always kind of uh, intrigued by the shape of the canvases, but I I hadn't seen his stack pieces like this until about four or five years ago. And uh, really does bring a kind of a sculptural aspect to the work. And if I'm not mistaken, he, uh, he designs these with a increasing curve. So the ones on the bottom are flatter. Also a great colorist. Nice scarf. Oh, this is another stack piece. This is titled the Gassy. There's a certain directness about uh, his paint handling that's it's just uh, inspired. You know, it's also interesting to see the way that he kind of varies his uh, his single unit canvases that have the usually two pod forms on them. these stack pieces which are more about uh, relating these blocks of color. Oh geez, there's the artist. Oh, this is a very Signature work of this is titled Chase Street Lounge. And it's oil on London 43 by 36 by nine and a quarter. It is Jonathan Lasker and Lydia Dona. Well, 
Ron has been uh, painting and exhibiting his works here in New York since I think the late 50s and uh, it's really great that he's finally got a chance to be showing at a place like Chime and Reed that really uh, concentrates on uh, painters. Well, I don't know whether it's true or not, but uh, someone told me that Ron paints these with both hands. Well, we snagged Jonathan Lasker who had the show here last month. Tell us what uh, what it is that you love about Ron Gorchov and his work. I think they're just terrific paintings. I really love the stack works over here. Yes. The way the works uh, act as, as objects as well as paintings. And uh, the insulation is sensational as well. Very spare. He's very a beautiful. fabulous colorist. He is. He truly is. And uh, you've been around the, uh, the New York painting scene for quite a while. What do you think that the general uh, view of Ron is? He's, he's a much loved and respected character, right? I would definitely say so, yeah. He's a <laughs> delightful guy. He's really a very sweet person. And he's been around forever. Very modest and very good painter. Influenced a lot of people. Definitely. <laughs> All right, thank you, Jonathan Lasker. You're welcome, James. Well, we'll drift into the back room here. It's also a mob scene. This is their sites. 2012 oil on linen, 34 and 3 quarters by 42 by 8 and 3 quarters. I think one of the uh, unique things about this shape that he uses is that uh, it's a totally different uh, feeling that you get from a, a vertical and the horizontal. is one of these uh, painters that uses a lot of uh, thin layers and builds up a lot of these colors with uh, light washes and almost like glazing. But the surfaces are very dry. This piece is titled Adonis Spring. And uh, I think that uh, despite the, uh, the apparent simplicity, this is actually a very complex piece. What do I think? I don't know, I kind of think of uh, human flesh. It's almost like a torso. I don't think so. And uh, you can see down here at the bottom that this has got layers and layers and layers of thin, drippy paint. He does this and it appears so effortless that uh, if you were somebody that uh, wasn't a painter or wasn't familiar with the uh, kind of the challenges that you face as a, as a painter, that this would all seem pretty easy. There's little yellow outlines around that uh, dark navy blue forms. It's really great. This is La Piva. There is a kind of, uh, of a sensuality about the, the way that he paints and uh, these shapes must be like stroking the small of someone's back. Robert Morgan. The Pinamedi is wonderful. 
There's Ray Smith. I understand he's a big fan of bronze. Well, I come to, tried to come in here and do some photography before, but it was so crowded and noisy that I couldn't really uh, get a picture of this. So they've uh, run everybody out, and I'm going to uh, take a closer look at this piece. It's titled Nole Me Tangier. Oil on linen, 44 by 36 by 10 inches. Let's look at how he bounced these on the wall. Some of these you can also see as uh, drawing in the, in the layouts. This bottom lip is always uh, attractive for me. Yeah, I was uh, thinking that uh, these pieces between the shapes and the, the shape of the canvas and the form that he uses are just uh, almost invites you to reach out with both hands and uh, touch these or caress them. Well, we've hung around until the crowd thinned out so we can get kind of an idea of what these pieces look like without hundreds and hundreds of fans walking around in front of them. This is James Com reporting on Ron Gorchov. Eric Chiman Reed. 547 West 25th Street at Chelsea. Thanks, Kate.